Hello everyone, welcome to your channel Learn Data Science with Pranjal. In this small video, we'll see how to save and load a model using Picklink. And at the end, we'll also see how to save the model using Scikit-learn. So watch the video till the end. And if this is your first visit to the channel, please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any video on the data science. So in this video, I'm not discussing the coding part of how the algorithm is created, but main focus would be how to save and load a model. I have done my necessary import. I have imported my pandas. I have imported my OS operating system. And then I am building my linear regression. The name of the model which I have built is my LCN model. So I will try to save and load the linear regression model. But the same technique can be used for any other model. You can save and load your decision tree, random forest, SVM, any model using the same technique. I have created my linear regression. Here I am seeing my intercept. Here I am seeing my coefficients name of my model is lcn underscore model let's try to save our model through pickling so first of all we need to import our pickle i'll say import pickle so using pickling i'll save my model and whenever i need i'll directly use my model i do not need to train my model i can directly use it for my prediction pickling basically does the serialization of the object I have imported my pickle and the name of my model is LCN model. Now I'll say with open. So what I've done, I'm saying with open LCN REG WB. So here W stands for your right and B stands for your binary. F. So this F is just a word. I can take any word over here. Open as F pickle dot dump so i am dumping my model and the name of my model the name of the model which i am dumping is lcn model so here lcn model is the name of my existing model and lcn reg is the name with which i want to save my model so when i run my code my model gets saved and on which path does your model get saved so i'll say import os so this is the path on this path my LCN model has been saved with LCN underscore REG. LCN underscore REG is just a name. I can give any name, whatever I wish to have. But LCN model should be the name of the model which I want to save. So using pickle.dump, I have saved my model. Whenever I want to use it, I'll say pickle.load. Let's load our model. So for loading the model, my code would be something like this. I had saved my model with the name lcn underscore reg. So now I'll open the same model, but while loading, I have changed the name of the model. Now the name of my model is lcn model new. So my model has been loaded, the coefficients. When I check these coefficients of the model, which I have loaded, these coefficients match with the coefficients of my lcn model. So if we can do the side by side comparison, and we can see that these two things match. Similarly, I can check LCM model dot intercept. This is my intercept. And this is my. So LCN model was the name of the original model which I had created. Then I saved my model with the name LCN underscore REG. While loading LCN underscore REG, I loaded with the name LCN model underscore new. Now we see that the parameters of LCN model new and LCN model are same. We, we have compared our coefficients, we have compared our intercept. So next time I can directly use my LCN model new for my prediction. So what I'll say LCN model new dot predict and I'll pass my test. I'll pass my test data. I get my predicted values. So the advantage of loading your model is that whenever you want to use it, you can directly use for your prediction. You need not create your model again. So here I use pickle to save and load the model. I can also save and load the model using my sklearn. So let's see how to save and load the model using our sklearn. From sklearn.externals, I'll import my job lib. Job lib dot dump LCN model, LCN model job lib. So LCN model was the name of the model which I have already created. If we can scroll back, we'll see that it's the name of the model which, which I had created. I am saving LCN model with the name LCN model 
job lib and again it would be saved at the same path if you want you can change your path but the default path would be your os.getcwd and next time when i load my model i load this lcn underscore model underscore job lib let's load our model so i'm saying lcn model from job lib lcn model job lib is the name of the model which i have saved and while loading i have changed the name so name is from job lib it gives us the clear idea that i am loading it from the job lib and again if i see the coefficients i get the same coefficients and i get the same intercept and this model can be directly used for my prediction I'll say predict. I'll pass my LCN X test. This brings us to the end of the video wherein we have seen two ways to save and load our model using our pickle and using our SKLearn. I hope you liked the video. Hope to see you soon in my next video. Till that time, happy learning.